Hey y'all, so I am at the park. It's amazing. Ah! Having a little self-care Sunday vibes, but I like had to make this video. I was so compelled because I was just like reminding myself literally. And I was like, I gotta share this with the watch squad. Um, just about, look, look, the bottom line is, let's just cut to the chase. Sometimes we be forgetting how real, how good God is and our life circumstances will make us feel like we're alone make us feel like things will never change make us feel like it's too late we're too old it's always been this way i'm not strong enough i can't do it um and the devil is a liar so i was literally driving on the way here to the park i knew i was gonna have some like self-care sunday time you know some chill time walk around some vitamin d just lay in the grass, just all of the amazing things you can do in the fall. Um, and on the way here, I was just kind of thinking about how I wish this area of my life was better. I wish I had more money. I wish I had more, I, you know, I had saved more when I had the opportunity to, you know, I'm like, dang, I'm Bayless right now. I wish this would be a great opportunity to go to walk, go for a walk in the park with my man. Where is my man, my man, my man? Like, um, what else? Like I'm kind of in this transfer, like transition season of my life as far as what I'm doing, what I like to do. I'm literally just trying to figure out, I'm, I know I'm here to serve God, but why, what, just asking myself all these things. I'm like, I'm getting old, you know, just having like beating myself up, low key pity party, but just trying to just take some inventory of where I am in life right now. And all I could, I was listening to some, um, kind of devotional, but all I could think to really just realize is I had to go back into my own life and account for a time where God did something that I didn't even think was possible. And I'm, li I'm literally living on the other side of what I thought, what I technically thought was impossible. I'm living that reality right now. So for example, the number one example, the thing I, you know, I shared on my channel here is when I got diagnosed with herpes, like I received that diagnosis in 2018 and I was devastated. There is no other way to put it. I was so broken. I was so sad. It literally crushed me. It beat me while I was already down. And it just took me to a place, a low in my life that I have never been before. And I remember thinking in the days and weeks after being diagnosed, I'm like, there's just no way my life is ever going to be the same. There's no way I'm going to be able to just be sitting here on a random Sunday and not be totally consumed by it, or at least think of have it, you know, in the back of my mind, like I just did not see a version of Amber that just was actually still like, it's okay, was normal, fine, all while having herpes. And so fast forward to now, 2023, you know, even years ago, he already answered that prayer. He did it. God literally changed it. I am 100% okay. I fully accepted my diagnosis and accepted myself. And he's even used my testimony to help others through their diagnosis. Like, but you couldn't tell me when I got diagnosed, like that this was going to be my reality. So I just had to remind myself, I'm like, look, Amber, not even so long ago, you were in a situation to where you didn't, you never thought this current reality that you're living in would be your life. So he's done it before, clearly. He's clear, he's done it before, and he can do any he can do any of it and all of it again. And so I just had to I just had to be like you know I gotta step my faith up. I have to continue to remind myself that it's not God, that it's me, that He's not waiting on me. He is waiting on me. I'm not waiting on Him. He is waiting on me. It just it just had to come back to my spirit again when I began to think like there are several things that I did not even think was possible that I'm currently living in right now. You know, that the meme, like you're living in your answer prayers. I'm like, dang, I had to just really realize I am. So step your faith up, be encouraged. Look back in your own life and think about a time where you were like, man, God, if you could just make this different than what it is, you know, help Lord. And didn't he do it? Literally, didn't he do it? And so I just had to encourage somebody like get your step your faith up. God can literally do anything but fail. And so just being reminded of who he is and reminded of like an example of in my own life how I'm a li I'm literally living 
a reality that only he could have given me. So that's my Sunday sermon. That's my message for today. I am hyped right now. I'm about to just go sit out here. I might listen to some music, have full on worship in this grass over here and hope somebody sees me and is <laughs> remind. And I'm going to give God all the, all the glory and the honor, read my book, vibe, all the things. But I just had to come on here and remind somebody like he just touched me this morning and was like, girl, uh, I've already done what you said or you thought couldn't be done. Now what? Okay, Lord. So yeah, I love y'all. <laughs> Trust them. <laughs>